These days, the news cycle is so fast, there's no time to delve into half of these stories. Before you can even digest one, there's five more. Which is why we've decided to handle it in a new segment called Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. <laughs> right now, we don't have the time to talk about presidential golf, because this morning, we woke up to this. This morning, U.S. officials taking the extraordinary step of banning electronics bigger than cell phones from the cabins of jetliners flying in from eight Middle Eastern countries, including several allies, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the Gulf states. The U.S. ban prevents laptops, tablets, cameras, DVD players, and electronic games from entering the cabin. A laptop ban? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I know who's behind this. It's that go-go in-flight bull <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because they don't want us watching the movies we brought on, and they want us to pay $39.99 for two hours of <laughs> Wi-Fi that goes out right after the ad plays. We see you, go-go! We see you! It's a violation of our basic human rights to take away the things that didn't exist six years ago. Oh, and, and, and by the way, uh, if you thought you had problems with terrorism before, just wait until you see how parents react when they find out that they have to be on a long flight with their kids and can't use an iPad. You've never seen someone radicalized so fast. <laughs> now, we could spend our time talking about what kind of threat there must be for governments around the world to suddenly bring us back to the 90s, but we don't have time for that. Because right now, the Senate is holding hearings on Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. And wow, is this dude white. I'll never forget my first day on the job. Carrying a pile of briefs up the steps to the bench, I tripped on the hem of my robe. One of the jurors came up afterwards and said to me, son, you're a young Perry Mason. Whenever a lawyer says, I'm just a lawyer from a small town, watch out. Bathing chickens for the county fair, devising ways to keep our determined pet goat out of the garden. Oh, gosh, gosh, is that the, gosh. I mean, golly, oh, goodness, goodness knows, oh, my goodness. Gosh, gosh, golly, oh, gosh, golly, darn, oh, gosh. Wow, that guy's white. He's super... Okay, except for the goat thing. That, the goat thing is, like, even Africans, we relate to that. We were like, <laughs> yeah, we were like, yeah, that Neil Gorsuch, I agree with you, the pet goat is so, so difficult. I hear you, Neil Gorsuch. I hear you completely, Neil Gorsuch. Now, the whole Neil Gorsuch nomination is a fascinating story. Because you have a judge who, on the surface, is more than qualified. But because of Trump's taint... Can I say that, by the way? <laughs> the, the Democrats really want to block him. But they also kind of want to make out with him. Because, good Lord, that man is handsome. Look at that guy. <laughs> no, I mean, look at that face. I could spend all night looking at his face. Look at that face. But there's no time to look at his face <laughs> because of this earthquake in the media business. Conservative talk show host Tommy Lahren has been temporarily suspended from Glenn Beck's The Blaze Network after airing pro-choice abortion views last week. No, I'm pro-choice, and here's why. I am a constitutional, you know, someone that loves the Constitution. I am someone that's for limited government, and so I can't sit here and be a hypocrite and say I'm for limited government, but I think that the government should decide what women do with their bodies. I'm keeping it coming, keeping it moving, keeping it wild, and we're keeping the paper. Let's get the ship set. Like, what the hell? She's like Buster Rhymes reincarnated. Who is this person? <laughs> Who is this? Like, how do you hear what she's saying? But jokes aside, honestly, this is not cool. If you're a conservative network that preaches day in and day out, you politically correct snowflakes, get offended too easily when anyone says something you disagree with, and then Tommy comes out and speaks her truth, says that she's pro-choice, and then suddenly her bosses go, oh, you like choices? Well, how about you choose a new job? <laughs> That's not cool. I was, I was offended by the hypocrisy. I was so offended that I wanted to protest it. Unfortunately, there's no type of black people protest that Tommy is comfortable with, so I... <laughs> I guess we should just move on. <laughs> because... Because you know what they say, when God fires one white woman, he employs another. First daughter, Ivanka Trump, is getting her own office in the West Wing of the White House. She's also getting security clearance to access classified information. Ivanka Trump is getting all of this, even though she's not an official government employee and will have no official title. An ethics advisor says Ivanka will follow all ethics rules. So it's official, people. The White House has lower standards of who they'll bring in than Nordstrom. 
And by the way, by the way, Ivanka says she'll follow all the ethics rules. I feel like the first rule of Ethics Club is don't hire your daughter. That's the first rule. <laughs> the simplest and first rule. You know, this is one of those stories that goes so deep. Nepotism, possible conflicts of incest, compromise of national security. I mean, we should be digging into the details of a job with no title. What does that mean? We should be digging into it. But the truth is we can't. Because in the world we're living in right now, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks, the lines, and the cheeks. <laughs>